Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the QM method of minimization of variables. We all have learned about the K-maps and they are really useful for solving the Boolean expressions. But in the case of expressions which have three, four or more variables, it really gets tedious if we solve with the help of a K-map. So we use this QM method of minimization, which is also the tabular method. Okay. We solve a question which involves the don't cares. Okay, so first of all, what we have to do, whatever the min terms have been given to us, we write it down here. Okay, see, 2, we include the don't cares. So 2, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 is there, then 13, and then 15. So the first step, uh, basically in this QM method, what we have to do is divide all these numbers into groups. Okay, and uh, in what groups now let us see groups of number of ones for uh, like now in a uh, this thing the binary number we can have the number of ones as zero as one as two or as three or all the fours can be one okay so this these are this is the group this column is for the min term okay and this column is for the binary that is a b c and d now the min term having the number of zero uh, ones as zero that is no one we do not have any of it so it's null the number of uh, all the min terms where the number of ones is one they are two so that is m2 m4 in all others there are two or more ones okay so we will write down the numbers over here. The numbers are 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. The number, all these min terms having two ones in it are M6, M9, M10 and M12. Okay. And we will write it down over here. So, okay. Now the number of uh, three ones. So the min terms are M11 and M13. Okay. So it is 1011 and 1101. And the number of four ones are present in M15, which is 1111. Now what we have to do using this first table, we are going to make another table with the same column headings. Okay, so table number two will be again having group. Okay, and the min term and the binary. Okay, so obviously for zero there is no group. Now what we will do, we have to see the one bit change. See the one bit change means what? That I have to compare the group one with group two. And then I have to take together those min terms where only one of the bits is changing. For example, when I take M2 and I compare it with M6, okay? So what is it? 0010 0, 0, and 0110. 0, that is only one bit is changing. Rest all are same. So I'll put them in a group. I'll take it as group 1. Okay, group 0 has no existence because there is nothing present. So I'll take it as group 1. Group 1 will have the first min term as M2 and M6. So that will be equal to 0 hyphen. That is, it could be 0 or 1. That is the bit that is changing. Okay. And 1, 0. So similarly, we will see all other uh, combinations. M2, when I check it with M9, no, there are uh, more than 1 bit changing. When I check it with M10, so there is only 1 bit changing. That is, the first bit is changing so m2 and m10 and uh, dash 0 1 0 similarly with this is uh, not compatible then i check m4 with all the uh, this thing min terms present in group 2 so when i check m4 so it accounts to now see one more thing that you have to do is when whichever min term has been put in table 2 from table 1 i have to put tick mark in front of it to show that yes it has been already included in the second table okay 
<coughs> so for M4, M4 matches with M6 again. So M4 and M6 will give me 0, 1, dash and 0. And M4 will also match with M12. Okay. So dash 1, dash 1, 0, 0. This needs a lot of practice and concentration. So if you uh, just, you know, very carelessly, if you start on comparing the uh, groups 1 and 2 or the consequent groups, it will surely lead to mistakes. So you have to be very, very careful while, uh, you know, comparing and seeing the one bit change so that you have correct min terms in the new tables. So group 1 is over. This I have already made the groups of uh, the group 2 and 3. 2 I have made using the min terms of group 2 and 3 from here whichever is matching we find that these 4 match and then I found out the group number 3 of this table by using the 3rd and 4th uh, row of the first table ok so all this has been done by using the 1 bit change and I have put the tick marks none of the min terms is left so now using this table I am going to design my third table okay so i'll take it as again table number three okay so group min term and binary okay so the group 0 does not exist okay now we'll check for group 1 for group 1 as you were doing the uh, this for the dash it matches with this but there's a double bit change so no then uh, m2 m10 this thing does not match okay then for this uh, there's more than one bit change then for this also there is um, no no matching group so does not exist now when I check for these for the so that is for group number 0 already there were no min terms and for group number 1 all these all these group 1's have still not been considered for the next table so that means they are yet pending right so I have to write down all these over here because they have not been considered okay okay so now comes the turn for a second when I just match these I find M9, M11 will match with M13 will match with M13 and M15 which is equal to 1 dash dash 1 so I'll put a tick mark M9, M11 and M13 and M15 ok then M9, M13 matches with M11, M15 so again that is this thing Okay, now these two are again left. So, I'll write it down here. M10 and 11, these two, 13. Okay, so now, we see, you know, further pairing can take place. So, I have to uh, do my final step. So, this is what? This is a B C D this is A bar C D bar this is B bar C D bar this is A bar B D bar B C bar D bar then this is A D this is also A D this is A B bar C this is A B and C bar okay so now what I'm gonna do 
I'm going to pair these up, right? Sorry, not pairing. I'll make a table because all these are the prime implicants. Okay. And I need to find out the only the essential prime implicants. So how I'll find it out? The min terms involved, the min terms involved were 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 13. So 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, and 13. And uh, corresponding to all these, it will be taken as means the terms a bar c d bar b bar c d bar a bar b d bar b c bar d bar then a d then a b bar c and a b c bar okay so now what i'm gonna do you can very well see that this thing involves the min terms 2 and 6 but 2 is I don't care okay and please note that here we do not include don't cares in the final table okay so m6 put a cross over here this thing includes m2 and m10 m2 is a don't care so only if it, uh, in, uh, below the M10, the cross will be there. Then this involves M4 and M6. Then this involves 4 and 12, which is a don't care. Then 9, 11, 13 and 15. 9, 11, 13 and 15 was a don't care. Then uh, it is 10 and 11, 10 and 11. Then 12 and 13, only 13 is there. So now what we have to do, First of all, we have to find out, sorry, not this one, this there. First of all, we have to find out the cross that stands alone in the column. This is not the one. That is this cross. Okay. So that is for this thing. I have to, I really need to involve this term. So this entire row will be taken into consideration so that is a d now from here if i see vertically okay i can reach over i can reach over here and i can cover the crosses over here okay so now what are left are these crosses okay so now arbitrarily taking this thing into consideration because when i take a bar d uh, b d bar into uh, consideration so uh, both these values will also be covered and from here we can also reach up till here and from here vertically we can also reach up till here okay so plus a bar b d bar and plus now i see that these two crosses are left behind so it's my wish i can either take b bar c d bar or i can take a b bar c so just out of my wish having no specific reason taking a b bar c okay so now from here i can also reach over here so basically what you have done is you have taken such uh, implicants from where you can have maximum or you can reach maximum number of process so they become the essential prime implicants and your answer so you can just make it out with the help of a k map and you can tally the answer it would come out to be same okay so thank you for watching if you have any any doubts you can ask in the comment section and if you like the video you can subscribe to our channel for uh, for more videos and any suggestions are always welcome thank you